you are unsure what to bring for your individual first aid kit or IFAC, here are good examples of what to bring. As a recommendation for the pouch, we recommend a pouch similar to this oyster pouch. Everything, you will now, everything we will now list to you fits well and is very accessible in these pouches and helps you and your comrades who are wounded in battle to make fast medical intervention. First we have the emer emergency trauma dressing. Uh, you need to bring a minimum of two. A good company is North American Rescue. Next we have chest seals. Each pack should contain two seals. These are some different examples. A particularly good one is the hyphen vented, produced by North American Rescue. Next we have the hemostatic agents. These come in various shapes and sizes. Good ones to bring are the Celox gauze, the clotting sponge, and hemostatic granules. Celox is a good company as is North American Rescue. Next we have a nasopharyngeal airway or NPA. These are in very short supply so pre please bring two or more. Try to bring size 32. Also if they have lubricating jelly this would be good. Next we have a decompression needle produced by North American Rescue. Again, these are in very short supply. You will need two for your IFAC and any extras you could bring are very helpful. Next we have combat shears. No particular company is necessary but a good pair is needed. Next we have the combat application tourniquets. There are lots of different types of tourniquet but we think these are the best. You will need two. And finally for your IFAC, the emergency survival blan blanket. If you can get a double sided one which protects against both heat and cooling, this would be good. The following items are not necessarily for your IFAC but are very useful for us. First, an EpiPen. Next, a digital thermometer. Next, a pulse oximeter. This reads your heart rate and your blood oxygen levels. We have rigid eye shields. Blast bandages. Multi-trauma dressings. Instant ice compress. And the tactical splint. 